Number 1. Read function. The read function is used to read a set of characters from the file. Number 2. Write function. The write function is used to write a set of characters to the file. Functions that check stream state flags. In C++, the state of a stream can be checked by built-in functions that return a Boolean value, or a flag. Most common functions that help check the state of C++ stream includes, bad function. It returns true, if a reading or writing operation fails. For example, bad function features in cases where we try to write to a file that is not open for writing, or if the device where we try to write, has no space left. Fail function, it returns true, just as in bad function, but also in the case, that a format error happens. For example, when an alphabetical character is extracted while trying to read an integer number. EOF function. It returns true, when reading a file has reached the end of file. Good function. It is the most generic state flag. It returns false, in the same cases in which calling any of the previous functions would return true. Clear function. It is used to reset the stream state flags checked by any of the member functions. Internal stream pointers, get, and put. All IO stream objects have at least one internal stream pointer. The get pointer. The get pointer belongs to if stream and I stream objects. It points to the location from where next element for input operation will be read. The put pointer. The put pointer belongs to of stream and o stream objects. It points to the location to which next element for output operation will be written. The objects of f stream inherits get and put pointers from the i stream class. I stream is derived from both I stream and O stream classes. Manipulation of internal stream pointers. Internal stream pointers that point to the reading or writing locations within a stream can be manipulated using the following member functions. Number one, tell G and tell P functions. The tell G function gives us current position of the get pointer or the input file pointer. The tell p function gives us current position of the put pointer or the output file pointer. The tell g and tell p functions have no parameters and returns a value of the data type, pos underscore type. Note that the pos underscore type is an integer data type holding value of current position where tell g or tell p is pointing to. Number 2. Seek g and seek p functions. The seekg function helps to reposition a get pointer, that is, the input file pointer, to any required position. The seekp function helps to reposition a put pointer, or the output file pointer, to any required position. Both the seekg and seekp functions are overloaded with two different prototypes. The first prototype for seekg and seekp functions. Seekg position and seekp position. Using this prototype, the stream pointer is changed to absolute position. Counting from beginning of the file. Data type for this parameter is same as the one returned by functions tell g and tell p, that is, pos underscore type, an integer value. The second prototype for seek g and seek p functions. Seek g offset direction. And seek p offset direction. Using this prototype, the position of get or put pointer is set to an offset value relative to some specific point determined by the direction. Offset is of the data type off underscore type, which is an integer data type. Direction is of data type seek dir, which is an enumerated type, the enum, that determines the point from where offset is counted. We can use three directions for the offset values. The iOS, BEG refers to the beginning of a file iOS, end. It refers to the end of a file. iOS, CUR. It refers to the current position of a file. Let's have a look at the example here. It says, go to the 14th position from beginning of file. We will next write a program to find out the size of a text file. Here we go. This is the source code. On line 6, we declare long integer variables, begin and end. On line 7, we create the input file stream object named my file, and using the object, we open in local disk drive E, the file, 
1.txt. Just to ensure, I check in local disk drive labeled E, the file named 1.txt. It's there. I then mouse over the file, and the tooltip shows its size as 92 bytes. The file, 1.txt, which has been opened by the My File object, looks like this, and remember that by default, a file pointer points to the first character when a file is opened. On line 8 the command says, tell G, or get the current position of file pointer, and assign it to the field begin. File pointer is pointing to character M, and the position of the character in the file is 0. Hence, the value 0 is stored in the field begin. On line 9 in the program code, we have instructed to print the value of begin onto output screen. Then on line 10, we have used seekg function to place the file pointer at the end of file, moving to zero position. So the file pointer now places itself at the end of file, which is one position after the last character we see. If you had mentioned minus one as the position instead of zero, the pointer would have positioned itself at E, and if it was minus two, it would have been at Y. So now, the pointer is at end of file, and its position is 92. On line 11, it says to get the current position of file pointer, and assign it to the field end. Hence 92 is copied to end. On line 12, we ask to print the value of end onto output screen. Line 13 instructs the compiler to close the file, 1.txt. We then print the size of the file, simply by deducting the value of begin position from the end position. It's 92 bytes, the exact value shown by the tool tip. Let's next cover the topic on templates in C++.